Over the last two weeks, we've walked through how to create a foundational star schema data model using a tool like DBT. And if you haven't already watched those first two videos, I do recommend checking those out first. We talked about creating dimensions and facts, but creating the tables alone is really just the first step because as most of us probably know, data and the custom logic we build is rarely ever 100% perfect, which is why having processes to test the quality of the data is incredibly important as well. Fortunately, DBT along with other tools provides some great built-in functionality to help address this scenario with really just a few simple configurations and without needing to overcomplicate things early on. So in this video, which is the last of this little three part mini series, you'll see how to put a bow around our initial data models by adding some baseline data quality tests using DBT. One more thing we should do before we push through our warehouse models is add some baseline quality checks. And in particular, we're going to focus on adding a unique and not null check to our primary keys just to sanity check to make sure we're not introducing some obvious issues to our data. And there's some built-in ways with DBT specifically that we can do this, but if you're using a different tool, I'm sure there are other ways that you can check your data or just create some manual scripts to mimic this kind of idea. But what we're gonna do is use some of the built-in generic data tests, which allow you to add this test object here and declare which tests you want to run. And if you add this here, DBT will understand it and compile some small codes of SQL to check this for you. And there are four out of the box ones that are included that we can just easily use without doing much else. Two of the ones I'm concerned with here are unique and not null, and they're really good checks for primary keys. And that's how we're gonna double check our surrogate keys that we've created for our new warehouse tables. To bring this all back to what we were talking about in the other lessons with these YAML files, you may have been wondering, when are we gonna put this to use? And we're not gonna use it for the staging models, but you could. We're gonna do the same idea here, but we're gonna do underscore dimensions models dot YAML, and we're gonna do the same for facts. Facts models YAML. This is where we're gonna be able to add those tests. Let's go to our development code here and grab this. This is for dimensions. So I'm gonna run through an example of what's going on here. So let's look at, for example, dim teams. What this is saying is we have defined our tables just like we did before, but this time we've added column level details. And you could technically list out all of your columns and add all sorts of tests, but that's not really necessary right now and probably not really helpful. So the only column we're listing is team SK, which is what we've created right here. And we're saying, we want DBT, if we tell it to, to test that this value is unique and that it's not null. And when you run this DBT test command under the hood, it's gonna compile a different script of SQL send it to your database, run it, and make sure that things pass. And we're gonna do this for the SK because we are basically asserting that this should always be unique and we don't want any records that don't have it. So if either of those scenarios are true where there's a duplicate or one is null, then fail the test and we should be notified immediately down here. Same with games and game SK and the calendar dates. So the command to run will be dbt test and it's going to look for any YAML files with this test flag in it. And it's very quick. We can see they all pass. And I'll show you what was run here. I believe it'll be in here. So under this file, here we can see the unique and not null tests that were run. And if you click on one of these, you can see the code that was compiled. Uh, and you can go ahead and evaluate that and understand what's going on. But basically, it's trying to count how many records fit or don't fit that scenario. And depending on the result, it's either going to pass or fail. But it's usually very quick. And it's a great way to double check what we're doing. So let's do the same thing now for the fact table. So we can run this in here. And what I can do is dbt test, and it, I'll just do warehouse facts. That looks good. Okay, so now I'll tell you a quick shortcut because a lot of times you wanna do both of those at the same time. You're gonna both deploy it and then immediately test it. And rather than running both of those commands every time, dbt has another command called build. So we can do dbt build, and let's just do warehouse. So we'll do everything within the warehouse. And what this will do is deploy and test all at once in one single command. Just that it deployed them all, it tests them all, and everything passed. Now I do want to show you what this looks like if it fails. So let's do this. We're going to test this again, but I've hard coded this to be null. So that means the not null test should fail because they're all null. So they should all fail. So let's just check. Let's just do games played. So it should de deploy it with the null and then test it, and now it fails. So we can see the not null failed here. We would be able to look at that query and check it out, but let's go ahead and rebuild it. I just wanted to show you that it would fail and that's how it 
flags it to you. So if you were running this in an automation, it would quickly fail and you'd figure it out right away. All right, so we're all good here. Let's go ahead and merge these changes. So now we have our tests, so we'll call this add data quality tests and commit. So at this point now in our development environment, we have our staging models, we have that are all views, and we have our initial star schema built around the fact games played fact table and with our associated dimensions. And they each also have some data quality checks. 